Book mm -hmm. two, Harry. What? Yeah, and now this is important. Um, and this is something you're very experienced with as well as myself. Uh, sunlight and sun gazing, one and two. <laughs> That's God. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was put in one book, Sunlight and Sun Gazing. I'm going to do another sequel at some point in the future. Sunlight I've learned more. and Sun Gazing. Yes, both of them together um, because they are both powerful. And I really wanted to get the idea that looking at the sun is a dangerous thing out of the... Because just like urine is a waste product was a myth, sun gazing is a bit of a myth. And I found this out last year that um, looking at the sun and even the midday sun, although I know people won't want to hear that one, it's not dangerous. It only helped my my healing and my energy levels since I started doing it. You have to prepare it. to look at the, the midday sun. You just have to prepare yourself to look at the midday sun. But if you are sure. practicing sun gazing, then you can look at the midday sun. Exactly. And you know what links in with that? You know, people sometimes get a tan in, in um, the you know in high summer in the middle of the day. Well, one of the reasons why people get a tan is because they don't go out at sunrise. The red light of sunrise is designed to, to, to stock up the, the skin callus so that you can handle the skin. So you won't get a, you won't get sunburnt in the midday sun. So one of the huge reasons people don't get a sunburn is because they don't get enough sun. They don't get the sunrise sun. We're not just supposed to get a midday sun. We're supposed to wake up in nature at least a one hour after sunrise, get one hour, two hours after, go out and get some sunrise sun, the red medicine. So we need that, uh, we need that different times of light. And the sunrise yeah. sun, the morning sun is very important light for us. Huge. I put 50% of my book um, when I wrote it was about red light therapy. Sunrise, sunset, sun is just red lights. You can't see the color red, but trust me, it's just red light predominantly. It's no UVA, hardly any. And that red light is absolute medicine. I'm sure you're aware, John, people buy red light machines. You heard of red light therapy? Yeah, yes. Um, it's called... Um... Photo by modulation by John's? Is that That's the one? not what I was thinking. I was thinking about... Oh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they have them in the, in the saunas. Oh, infrared, infrared saunas. Infrared, yes, infrared. Correct. And that's, where's the infrared come from? It comes naturally from the sunrise and the sunset sun. So I put 50% of my, well, at the time I did the book, it was perfect because I just found out about sunrise, sunset. I never woke up a sunrise, sunset before in my life. I did that for 50 days straight, wrote the book. I'm still doing it every day now, by the way, because I just love it, love, obsessed with it. It gets to give me so much energy and it was perfect. And it's so key that it's, it's like the sun and sunlight, every hour of sun is good, no matter what time you get. But you want to be getting is the three, three most important times, two most important times, sunrise, sunset, one or the other, or both, or highest in the sky, midday, which does a different thing. Those are the times, if you're limited on time, you must focus on. You can't just go for midday and think, I don't need the red light therapy, sunrise, sunset, because there's so much medicine you are missing out on, and it will cost you, in my opinion. So, so many people are, are missing out on, on their healing because they're not taking the time to focus on actually getting nature time and actual time in the presence of the sunlight. Exactly. And look, I understand people got busy lives. So sometimes, say you've got a work job, you can't get up a sun, you get up a sunrise, you need to go to work. You can't be outside at sunrise. Well, that's why there's two suns that got red light, sunrise, sunset. You must do one a day. And if not, you know what? We live in a world of technology. I'll even say this, and I've got a red light machine. I'll even promote that and say a red light machine, buying one of those is better than not getting up using sunrise, sunset, sun. You do what you can. Understand what's going on. Use a red light machine, sunrise, sunset, sun. Or do it. it on the weekend if you can't do it during mm -hmm. the week. If you've got a busy schedule and you can't do it during the week, do it on the weekend. Do extra time during the weekend. You're going to have to make up for it if you, if you can't get it. Right. Exactly. So we got. We got to. We got to put this mm. in our mind: is that uh, everything in the th third dimensional world has masculine and feminine energy. There's two forces here, mm. and the two forces that are here are the light of the sun and the planet Earth. These are the two biggest forces that we are engaged with. Yep. Now, the light of the sun takes the energy from source and puts it into a into a light beam and sends it to mother earth who then manifests an entire planet of plants that sustain us we are between two forces here the force of light electricity and the force of magnetism the planet Earth, 
We are the being that is a manifestation of these two forces. These are the two forces that we are involved with, the yin and the yang. It's the light and the mother earth. It's the father light and the mother earth that creates everything that we have. Now we can't leave out the light of the sun or the physical contact of the earth if we want to heal our lives. We have to bring these two forces together within the being. We are the being that is the physical marriage of the two forces. And when we marry the two forces within the being, we become well. Yeah. Yeah, that John, I absolutely love um, what you said there. It's yin and yang. And people could be like cynical to what you just said and said, well, I'm above, the sun's above me shining up and the ground's above me. But what people are doing wrong is they're not going outside because we live in a world where we can hide away from the sun now. We live in insulated houses, which have got loads of toxins anyway, but you can hide from the sun. You can, through windows, does benefits, but not properly. So you can hide from the sun now. We can also hide from the earth. Instead of grounding to the earth all the time, we can now insulate ourselves because we're not touched into the ground. The yin yang. Yeah, we're not. We're wearing shoes. We're insulating the pavements, roads. No one Concrete takes the shoes everywhere. off in cars. Mm. And with this insulation, like I said, if there's no yin yang and, and no wholeness, what is there? There's imbalance and, and chronic diseases and mental issues and depression and, and people that don't have the motivation to make the changes, you know, which is, which is very sad. Awesome. So sunlight, a big key. We've mm. we got to include it. Huge. Which absolutely huge. Not only that, it's going to affect your circadian rhythms, your sleep cycle. You won't sleep properly if you don't get the, get proper sunlight at the right times in the morning. You don't get the morning sun, you won't sleep properly. Uh, it affects everything. Every single part of the human body will suffer as a consequence of um, not getting enough sun. But it's okay to, to like to improve slowly. So if you only have five minutes sun a day, get ten minutes. You know, it's not a rush. You're not expected to be out in the sun twenty four hours a seven. We've all got busy lives. It's just about improving and getting a little bit more every single day. If you so, can get that morning sun and gaze into it for ten minutes, it's not a lot of time gaze into it for 10 minutes in the morning or at the end of the day absolutely and not only that i'm in the uk so it's even rarer than that we get northern hemisphere canadians same Mm. thing it's very important it's vital we need to do this yep And, and even 20 seconds 30 seconds it comes out Take that chance. Just look at it and blink a few times and realize that it, it's ultimately a mindset. You have to understand that it, in your heart that it's not going to damage you. It's going to heal you. And then when you do and you experience it, you'll be wanted to motivate to do it again. So all these things we're talking about, intention it's about experiencing it. Intention mm. is important. We have to be on there we go. side yeah. with it. Exactly. You have to look at it, know that it's good for you, try it, experience the benefits, realize it's making you feel better. And then it'll be a cycle of, okay, this makes me feel better you know, Harry, John were talking about it. Now let's carry on doing it. And then you make it a habit and then you become more whole and balanced and the best version of yourself. You so this is where the be. mind has to change because the mind is we got to get out of the sun. We need to stay out of the sun. We got to cover ourselves up with, with a, a ultraviolet protection. If we're going out into the sun, all of this stuff is mental stuff that we've got, that we've got to let go of. So there has to be a mind change here. We can't heal without changing the mind. Exactly. You, you know, there's something goes so deep. I, I was listening to a podcast today, John. It said that if you wear sunglasses, it stops the production of mel- melanin in your skin. So guess what? You are not going to get suntan. You're going to get sunburnt if you wear sunglasses. Some, there's a couple of things you should not do. Sunglasses and sun cream and contact lenses. Those three. Just don't go there. If you've got them, get contact lenses, get rid of them. If you've got sunglasses, don't wear them and wean yourself off them. You've got sun cream. Never put that stuff on your body unless you're going to eat it. Unless you want to eat that sun cream, if you want to eat it, fine, put it on your body. But if you, if you don't want to eat it, don't put it on your body. That's my Cause rule. Because putting it on your skin is the same as absorbing it in and eating it. It's the same thing. Yep. You're putting it into your body. Yep. It's poison. It's, it's, yeah. It's the worst thing you can do for your health is the three things I've just told you. Contact lenses, sunglasses, and I know sunglasses are cool. So we've really got a lot of work to do in that area in terms of teaching celebrities and normal people that sunglasses are for protection of eyes when they're not, absolutely not. So, you know, but we'll, we'll keep going, John, and we'll keep talking to people about the right things of, you know, health and, and healing on those, in these areas. Awesome.